Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Tuesday the 14th of March 2017. So yesterday the market uh, really quiet from here down to here. All we had was uh, 77 points. Very, very quiet and as you can see uh, from the chart we had, um, let's move that over, nothing in the first part of the session. The market went fairly quiet and then uh, we had all of these trades that weren't filled in the evening part of the session which is fine by me because as I've said before I'd rather have uh, no trade than a losing trade. So the market uh, we know what it's doing it's waiting for Yellen and if you look at the daily chart you'll see exactly the pattern we've got here we've got a sideways move now for the last three days the market uh, stuck in this uh, range you can see it there uh, finding support at the 28 sorry 2815 level and failing to head up towards the 76% uh, at the moment but that could change uh, tomorrow but so far uh, the market uh, sideways a lot of volume here as well hopefully we'll get a bit of a, a pullback uh, off the news tomorrow that the rates are going to be uh, increased uh, that seems to be the consensus across the board at the moment and if that is the case then we will see the market rally hopefully up to this level and then reverse and move lower news wise today well not a lot to report either uh, 12 30 the news runs out there's nothing after uh, 1 30 or 2 p.m as we're in the uh, hour difference at the moment and that being the case and it's tuesday expect the market to be quiet again and i would imagine that not a lot is going to happen however that said do keep an eye on uh, the uk because uh, today it is uh, being said that uh, may could trigger article 50 and if she does then that will bring uh, a bit of uh, volatility to the markets but without that then we can expect the markets to remain sideways on the implied volatility front uh, 9.63 up uh, 0.2 from Friday at 9.43 and uh, you can see again the market just sideways on volatility just waiting for the Fed the honeymoon period's over for Trump now so it's just a case of waiting to see how the Fed reacts and then of course you've got the debt ceiling also being uh, confirmed from under Obama today at 20 trillion and then the last bit of money that's left from increasing the debt ceiling to be spent by Trump over the next two to three months as well before they have to raise the debt ceiling once again. The insanity continues. So that's really it. There's not a lot else to report, I'm afraid. Uh, we're just uh, playing the waiting game, waiting for uh, Yellen tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. Right, that's it from me. I'm reporting if I see anything or anything kicks the markets off. The only thing I can say that would do this is uh, May triggering not 50. But unless that happens, then expect the market to remain sideways. Right, that's it from me. I will see you in tomorrow's as ever. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.